okay welcome back uh, so in this particular uh, session we'll be discussing about uh, how to actually uh, work on a simple you know flowchart uh, using this chapter tool itself okay so we have already discussed about you know variables and all these things okay so let us do a very simple you know uh, uh, what you say uh, program itself say something like i want to say uh, welcome to this you know uh, welcome to this particular session so you can see in the left hand side you have the certain symbol this is assignment okay this is function call which you will see later okay this is inputting any variable it is output this is selection this is loop okay all we're going to see it okay so this is giving problem anyway okay so now let us now uh, let us only put this so you just okay oh i need to save it so let me save somewhere okay or i have anywhere okay let me say i will create a video like you know raptor files okay great okay let me name this as uh, firsd okay so then i save it right yes okay uh so how i'm doing it <coughs> i just you click you just click the mouse here and you drag it here so you'll get it and then you just release your mouse out here okay right so this is how you need to do and you can delete it like this now let right click it and go to edit see here you will get exactly what you need to do okay everything will be there. what is the output and all so let me say the output is welcome to to the session nice okay let me done fine okay so now let me save this okay right and let me now you know execute so you get this output right welcome to this particular session so okay again i am executing okay step by step see it comes start okay then it goes to this okay it will execute right this is n and at the end you get this output okay so this is sequential way this is a sequence way into which you are okay displaying it okay now let us improvise more let us take some input also so i put an input okay okay and then i can write right click okay uh let me say something like that welcome to this session okay uh then i say suppose say enter the prompt here okay so str okay right uh, and let me say some value like you know welcome to this session rubbish okay okay done okay so uh, okay get the pay oh sure okay fine so sorry i did a mistake here prompt means you said here enter the value okay enter the value and i define here a variable let's say str sorry okay so this is the prompt so i said enter the value and i said str okay right enter the value there i said enter your enter your name that is better enter your name okay and then i write here name name okay let me do this done so enter your name so you'll enter the name and you'll get it and then now let me edit this okay so you can see there is one you know plus okay this okay so i will add a plus so it will contain the string what is the string that i want for name okay so name is nothing but the variable that we are talking about okay done okay now let me save now let me execute okay now let me give the name Rupesh. okay 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 you see now it has come welcome to this session Rupesh. okay now you can see there is you know no gap in it so i can add a gap also so not a problem just i need to put a little bit gap here done okay save uh let me execute again 
Okay, let me save the page. Okay, well, we got it. Welcome to Decent for Fish. Okay, right. So I can take another input. So let me say, you know, uh, okay, and I say, suppose, say a variable c equal to one. Okay, done. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, input one. Okay, so I say this is c. Okay. Uh, okay, and or then I just say uh, enter your you do age okay, right? And I write say a g e okay, then enter your okay, done. So here I will put one output here, same way, drag it okay, right click, edit okay, right your age is okay plus okay age right so now done okay let me save let execute get your name so i put it for page okay then it asks me get me your age i said it's okay 42 okay then oh great so you see here the variable okay age 42 name footage so this is integer this is string and you have seen the output also so welcome to the session page your age is 42 okay so i i think now you have some idea okay and see the way it, again i'm executing it see this is sequentially executing okay get your name then i i put my name like footage okay yes and then okay and it moves to this okay then i execute it then i put my a's 42 okay then you can see here each time here we are saying that your name input here it is coming to page when it when the here it is coming to age okay then once you will it come into this particular you know, execute this okay you can see something will be coming out here okay so let me press this okay let me see yes welcome to this session group is so this has been this is output okay then now when i will execute this one let me execute this yes now you get your ages so sequentially it is going and each time you know you're doing it each time it is doing and it is output up so it is something like you know what is like an interpreter okay each time it is interpreting it and it will been it been going on okay so you can see the concept of you know sequential here okay we of interpreter and also you can see these are nothing but the variables okay right now when you move into a programming language this particular variable we can have a data type right when we discuss right it is integer float you know double and all those things okay so hope i i i this is this particular session is clear okay so now we will go into you know next particular session we're going to see uh, I will try to, you know, uh, write a program to create, you know, area of a circle and triangle and all those things. I will do this in a chart and then I also do the, uh, what you say, this particular, you know, block code blocks.